Hi guys! So I've just given the pigs their veg just to keep them quiet while I'm filming this video. And Gizmo and Jafar like normal are in here. And Snoopy and Ollie are down there. And today they've got some romaine lettuce, a tiny tiny bit of cabbage, some carrot, but not very much because it's quite sweet. And a couple of other things which I've forgotten. But um, today I'm going to do an organisation video. Um, as you can see, it's not all that organised, but this has been requested really, really highly, so I thought I'd get one done, and then I could always do an updated one when it gets a bit more sorted. So the idea is that these boys are going to go up on a table, so then I've got more storage space under there. So all of this stuff that's out and doesn't really fit anywhere will have a place to live. Jafar has just gone in there with a bit of lettuce. <laughs> and Gizmo is just down there. We've only got one bit of carrot each um, because it's quite sweet and I don't want them to get fat. Oops. <laughs> Um, I've also had a lot of people asking whether, because Gizmo is Abyssinian, whether he doesn't like being stroked. And um, he doesn't really like being stroked when he's eating his veggies, but other than that he's pretty good. Um, I think the theory behind why Abyssinians are a little bit less inclined to um, want to be stroked is because all their hair sort of goes off in different directions. So when you stroke them you're likely to be... Um, brushing it a different way than it grows which might feel a little bit weird for them but um, Gizmo is actually the tamest of all my guinea pigs and I can pretty much do what I want to him and he doesn't really have much of a problem with it which I love <coughs> excuse me I've got a little bit of a cold so that'll be when my voice sounds a little bit funny Jafar's also quite tame but he's a little bit less likely oops to let me stroke him he tends to just do his own thing. Snoopy's also quite tame, but Ollie has got a lot more of a problem with me stroking him. And um, this is because when I first brought him home, um, I had to give him medicine every day um, in a little syringe in his mouth. And he really didn't like that, and I hadn't had a chance to bond with him already. So, um... That was kind of how we got to know each other, was me feeding him medicine, which obviously wasn't very nice for him. So um, I've struggled a bit more to bond with him, because um, obviously we didn't get up on, off on the right um, foot, but it needed to be done, and now he is better. So um, he does have more of a problem with me. He will always come up to me when I put my hands in the cage but he doesn't let me stroke him which is a bit sad so I'm going to have to do a lot more bonding with him but um, now I'll get on with the video so the first box I'm going to show you is from the bottom left hand side of the IKEA Expedit and this is dedicated to the hamster supplies and this isn't the majority of what I've got because I do have two hamsters living downstairs and one upstairs so this is just all I could fit in this box and the rest is downstairs but I'll just show you what I've got. So the first thing I've got is this exercise ball and I can't remember who it's by but this is one I've seen in lots of different pet shops and um, I don't use it very often at all because I'm always afraid that he's going to get his little feet caught in these little holes there. So I don't really use balls, um, he does have a Trixie play pen which um, is downstairs at the moment but I bring it up for him when I'm cleaning him out um, as long as there's someone else to supervise him the only time I use the ball is if I've got to clean him out and there's no one else there because I don't want him climbing out um, because he is quite a good escape artist and I've just got another oops, another ball here as like a spare but again it's got holes in the side so I don't really like using them and then here I've just got some spare sections of iMac Fantasy tubing and I've got loads of different colours here 
and um, yeah that's just so I can mix around the um, tubes but I'm missing quite a lot of the rings so um, that's why most of them aren't in there and then I've got one of the again another piece from the iMac Fantasy Cage and two of the wheels that come with it that I've never actually used because um, I use silent spinners for my hamsters so I've never really needed them and then I've got a I think this is a Savic house and um, it's in pink and I've got a blue one downstairs for Eagle and he does like that but I've just taken it out to switch around his cage a bit and then here I've just got some spare water bottles and spare bowls and more pieces from the iMac Fantasy and puzzle playground pieces and I think that's it down there and here I've just got some treats again I keep most of my treats downstairs so I sort of just brought up a selection for him um, so some bonios, some crocodiles some pedigree marquees and things like that and then also in there I've got his mix of hamster food and um, it's just the super hamster, dwarf hamster harvest and a few pets at home hamster nuggets mixed in and I've got some spare bags as well because I like to keep stocked up I've also just pulled out these two storage tab things and these came from Poundland and in this one I've just got chinchilla sand um, to fill up his sand bath and in this one I have Oxbow Essentials food and I like to give him a couple of these a day I've also got a, I think that's a walnut, I'm not too sure, some sort of type of nut and some kiwi sticks just in there I've then just got a spare silent spinner and um, I used to use this as a little sand bath but now my dwarves are way too big um, so I've used other things and um, this silent spinner makes an awful noise when it spins um, so I've taken it out of Vladimir's cage because it's got a bit old and rattly and then I've just got this basket here with um, some mealworms which um, my dwarves really love but my Syrian's scared of them which is quite funny and I've just got two spare metal bowls um, these are just some measury scoopy things um, which is really useful for measuring out my pet's food another spare bottle a nest and chew um, little toy thing but I need to chuck that out because that is really bad for them and you shouldn't really give that to them I've got this lovely polka dot bowl which I haven't actually got around to using yet but um, I had to buy it because it's really really cute this is a bowl that comes with their iMac Fantasy which I find that my dwarves just push all their food over the side and it goes everywhere here's another plastic bowl by Anko um, I've just got a Burgess Super Snack Superstar it's a bit of a mouthful and I was just going to break this up into little bits and divide it between my hamsters because I think that was quite big to give a hamster in one go and then I've got this plastic food bowl which came with the fair plastic cage and next I'll do this box which comes out of here on the Expedit and this is my pig's favourite box and it's full of treats and um, toys and things like that so I'll show you what's in there now first is just these woodland treats um, which I brought back from Pets at Home the other day and uh, I put them in a haul and I've opened the blackcurrant and apple one because my pigs have had that one before and they really really love it and um, this is the sort of treats that I feed them most often the um, mixed grasses and things like that they don't really like shop many shop bought treats um, I do have quite a few but that's only because they're so cute I can't resist them and then they haven't eaten them because they don't like them so a lot of this my pigs won't have actually liked but I got them anyway because they're so cute and then we've got some Wilco's carrot and corn which will probably go to the bunnies because it's way too big for the pigs I think 
some corn leaf book and pencils, some corn rattle rollers, and some more, and some more corn leaf ones. These are sort of ones I bought and haven't got around to giving them. Some more nibble sticks. I don't know how I can fit it all in here. These are some Wilkinson's munching stick things and um, these are one of the only shop bought treats my guinea pigs actually eat and um, they haven't got many ingredients at all, they're made really simply and there's no added sugar or anything like that so I don't mind giving them one of them occasionally. And then I have these alfalfa bales but I've had these for since I brought Ollie home, I don't know where he's gone, um, when he was a baby but now all my guinea pigs are over six months old so I'm going to have to chuck them out because they can't eat them anymore. Then I've got a woody roller, Oof. stick and nut chew, shooting star, like a bird's toy thing. Oh, you forget how many things you buy for them. Some Wilco's Play Veg, a carrot stick lip, some Rotostat Play Laws, some Bark and Bites, some Nibbles Mineral Candy Cakes. Um, that's a corn leaf book without the pencils. And coal wooden shoes. A cordon breaker bird mirror thing. Pets at home. Um, like mini knobbly mirrors. An empty tub. Some receipts. So I think that's it for chews. And now I'll show you the treats. We've also got 20 gnawing goodies. These were, I forgot what they've called, they were called, um, but my guinea pigs really don't like these anyway, so they've just sat here because no one will eat them. But I know they are suitable for all my other animals, so I'll probably try them with them. Um, these are grooming wipes from Pets at Home that I never use because um, if my guinea pigs are really mucky, then I'll give them a bath. Here's another um, natural hanging toy thing. What? Have I got the treat box out? Ooh. This is a um, stuffed wood roll that I still haven't given them. I'm really bad at switching out their toys. Um, some rollinis, some Gertie's crunches which my guinea pigs pretty much ignore. Snack bars which I still haven't given them. Um, I don't really give them many treats at all so I buy them, them all and they sort of just sit here. Oh these are some naturals um, things which were in the sale at Pets Corner and I like giving them the naturals range because they're not there's not anything in them other than like vegetables and herbs and things like that. Then they've got their treat ball, their shampoo this is like a measuring cup thing which I find really useful. I've got some digital scales so I can weigh them. Um, these are some treats that they actually all like that I do give them occasionally. Um, and I got these from Wilkinson's and again there's not many ingredients in them at all. So I don't mind giving it to them. And then, oops, in here they've got some naturals carotis I think they're called and none of them really like them at all so they just sort of stay in there. These are were Burgess apple snacks but they've pretty much all been eaten because all my guinea pigs really really like them. It's just like a wooden ball thing. Some small figure for when I do their grease gland. Some cable ties for their cage. Um, there were some decorations from Valentine's Day and oh, I'll just show you in this box this is a little tub thing I got from Poundland ages ago 
And in here we've got some locust beans, which I haven't given them in ages, but all my guinea pigs really, really like them. There's one Burgess dandelion roll thing left. And here's a spare bag of the fruity crunch treats, which are the ones in that one. And um, see if I can find the ingredients. Maize, wheat, fat, sugar and EU flavourings. So this does have sugar in, but um, I don't give it in very often. So all this somehow came out of that box. So I'm going to have fun putting that back in again. <laughs> These top two are again guinea pig things. And um, this one is Snoopy and Ollie's toy box. And that one is Gizmo and Jafar's toy box. And here I've just got my little Ikea light. I've got a little cupcake thing which holds in some like doggy poo bags. Um, which I use if I'm spot cleaning them um, to save using a whole carrier bag. And there is just their food mix um, in one of these storage tub things with a little pink measuring thingy in it. And in this treat tub I keep oops, the dried sort of mixes like the um, blackcurrant and apple thing. This was um, Wilco's dandelion and green oat but it's my pig's absolute favourite so it doesn't stick around very long and then in this one ah, I've got um, millet spray and that is for the hamsters again but I can't fit any more at all in the hamster box because it's so full and um, I got these tubs from um, TK Maxx for three quid I think and I think they're really pretty so I'll just get out their toy box to show you so this is just Gizmo and Jafar's toy box and there isn't actually much in it because they're huge chewers so everything they do actually chew I tend to leave in their cage because um, if they're chewing it then I want them to keep chewing it to keep their teeth down so there isn't actually much in here um, it's mainly just things I'm going to give them um, so first I've got this small and fairy bristle and bark which I thought they'd really really like and I just haven't got around to giving them yet actually. Then they've got this loofah teddy bear which they've kind of ignored so um, I'll try it again in their cage a different time. And then they've got these Wilco's seagrass coasters and they've got one of these in their cage at the moment and they've destroyed it so I'll put another one in next time I clean them out. And they've got some willow sticks and um, they've got a few in their cage but they don't actually really like them very much so I might donate them to the buns then they've got this um, loof ball which again they don't really seem to like loofah all that much so I might try that with the bunnies because the bunnies had one and completely destroyed it so I might give, that one one, ugh, give them that one as well this is a willow ball which again they've chewed a little bit but they don't really seem to be too bothered about willow so um, that's been rejected then they've got this stick and nut thing, the same as what I've got in that one from um, the Naturals, no, the Woodlands range. And um, I don't know if they've had this in here yet, but um, they tend to ignore hanging things to be honest. Um, they all do, which is a bit of a pain because they look really pretty. But like this one they've had in for ages and they've just nibbled a little bit around there and that one they've ignored they tend to ignore things on the bars of their cage and then they've got a woody roller which again they've completely ignored which is a bit of a pain this is like a little willow ring thing this one they really like it was a Wilkinson's corn chew thing this is from their learning links which is hung up on their cage They've got a couple of these corn husk chew things, which um, they don't really like too much. So they've got two in there and some oh, bag of chews to go on their kebab and some kiwi sticks. And that's it from their box. And now on to the last section of the expedit. And we've got Snoopy and Ollie's toy box, some 
useful books and things that I use um, to refer to. I know you can get most of it on the internet these days but I quite like having books as well. There's some things that won't quite fit in <laughs> and um, I've also got some little jars of beads which I got from Poundland which I thought were very cute. So I'll take all this stuff down and show you now. So here are the books and things that I've got on my animals. Um, I've also got the small furry pets magazines which I find really really interesting and I keep them up on there. And I've also got the really useful guinea pig guide, bunny guide and hamster guide. I had this book when I got my first ever rabbit um, when I was quite a lot younger. I think I was about eight so a very long time ago and um, I love this book. I love the Oh, I've also got some useful leaflets. I love the um, illustrations and things and I think they're really useful to refer to if you've got a problem, if you've got an illness or anything like that. So I thought I'd also get these ones in the set and I love the pictures. I think they're so cute. So I got them. I've also got the RSPCA, uh, RSPCA pet guide for hamsters, guinea pigs and rabbits. And these are only little books, but again, I think it's really useful to have different books on your pets. And I love all the pictures as well. Um, they're very good for things like housing and stuff like that. This one came free, I think, when I subscribed to Small Fairy Pets magazine. You could choose between rabbits, guinea pigs and hamsters, I think. But... Um, as all my books were in the guinea pig room, I thought it would be quite nice to have guinea pig books. And I love all the pictures, again. Um, all these books are really, really useful. Uh, this one's a little bit bonkers, though. Um, there's a lady who takes her guinea pigs to the park in a shopping basket, <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. So yeah, that one's a little bit older, I think, so probably a bit less valid. <laughs> but um, all of these things are really good. Um, resources if you're having pets I think you should always have books and things like that but they just live up there and also on the shelf I've got these hyacinth tunnels um, these I got from Wilkinson's they came with a smaller one inside which are actually in my hamster cages at the moment and when I first got the guinea pigs they could fit through these but now they've got so big that they can't but I do put them in occasionally for them to chew on and as you can see there, they've had a little nibble. Um, Gizmo and Jafar have got one in their cage at the moment, which they've destroyed. And I've got another one in here. Here I've just got another chew tube from Wilkinson's. And this is the one that I had in with Ollie. But then when I put these boys in together, I didn't want the tunnel with his scent on. Um, because I thought they might fight. So I bought a new one. And this is the old one that hasn't. I haven't found anything to do with it yet. And here I've got this hay rack, which I think is really, really cool. But I haven't really found a place to put it because um, I have trouble with hay sticking to fleece. And um, with this it just falls straight through onto the fleece. So I haven't really found a use for it yet, but I think it's a really, really cool design. And then here in their toy box, they've got a stick and nut thingy, the same as Gizmo and Jafar. Again, they've got some seagrass coasters, but they've pretty much ignored the one in their cage. It's down there somewhere. And they've pretty much ignored it, so. Here they've got like a baby toy, which um, Snoopy really likes. They've got a Toys from Trees, um, which is in their cage quite a lot. But um, I've switched it out at the moment. That's from their learning link. They've got a jingly ball which Ollie really really likes nibbling on. They've got a woody roller which they've completely ignored. They've got this um, dog rope chew thing which I wasn't really expecting them to chew or play with but it weighs down the corners of their cage when they were, well when Snoopy was in his old cage um, I needed to weigh the corners down whereas with this one cage is sort of on the corners so they can't get under it. Oops. And then they've got this little caterpillar which I absolutely love but they've um, 
completely ignored it, which is a bit of a shame. Then they've got a hay um, veggie ball thing. And I did used to give them their veggies in balls quite a lot, but it's a bit of a pain um, washing them out and things after. So I don't really... Oh! Did you hear it? Jingle! <laughs> so I don't really use them very much. And then here I've got their uh, Poundland Jingly Ball, but it is very big and takes up quite a lot of their cage. So I don't tend to put it in very often. Um, they've got a... A pudding roller thing which again they've completely ignored I don't know why I keep buying them then here they've got their tropical fiddlesticks which is actually too small for them now because um, Snoopy's huge anyway and Ollie's grown now so he can't fit through that anymore they've got some willow sticks again some things from the bag of chews um, these were a three set from pets at home. Um, some Wilco's Play Veg. This was a veggie mobile thing that hung up with this but they've um, chewed it a little bit. And there's some Wilco's things again. There's a little radish chew there. So these boys don't chew nearly as much. Um, but yeah. Oh no, someone's sleepy. So yeah, that's it for the Expedit and now I'll drag out some more boxes. So now I've just pulled this box out from under this table under Gizmo and Jafar's cage. And behind there we've got some natural paper that I use for um, making them treats. I've got their puppy pads back there. I've also got their, the first cage they ever had um, is flat packed behind there and um, a couple more cages and things like that There's a, that I use as spares in case they fight. Um, now first I've just got this tub which doesn't have anything in yet but I find them really handy. And then I've got some ready bags which they all really 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 love. I've then just got some binder clips and things like that, tape measures and kind of stuff that doesn't really matter. And then I've got some potty litter, I've got a spare water bottle, some vinegar, a hay rack, and some, a bowl and some odds and ends like that. And then in front of that just lives a vinegar and water solution, and some antibacterial cleaner for things that I need to get really clean but I don't use that on their cages or anything because um, that could make them quite sick. And then I've just got some Johnson's Clean and Safe. But um, I generally use vinegar and water just because it's so much cheaper and also it's not going to hurt them. Um, and like I said, this is really quite disorganised over here, but um, hopefully these boys will be up on tables soon so I'll have a lot more space to store things and it'll be a lot more organised. I don't really like it being this messy, but there we go. Um, they do come with quite a lot of stuff and um, they live in quite a small room, so... And then we'll just move over here, um, where I've got their dandelion and marigold herbage and their Burgess XL hay, which um, wasn't as good this time. It's really, really stalky and they pick bits out, which it is um, a bit of a pain because it's £5 a bag, which is very expensive. And then I've just got their pets at home, medium hay, to mix in with it. Um, and in this... Oh huge tub here. I've got some fibre first food and there isn't much left at all because I do put a couple of sticks in with their food um, two or three times a week as like a little, like a healthy kind of treat and um, they're not too keen on it. They tend to eat their food first and then eat this when that's the only thing left but it makes kind of a healthy treat for them. Oopsie, there. Burgess XL guinea pig nuggets and their pets at home guinea pig nuggets and I'll probably just carry on mixing these two together because um, someone I've been talking to on YouTube contacted Burgess XL about whether or not they were alfalfa based because there was quite a lot of confusion over that and they said that they're not 
based on alfalfa at all, but they do contain small amounts, which I'm sure is the same with most guinea pig nuggets. So panic over <laughs> about the XL nuggets. So I will probably continue to feed them that, but mix in a little bit of this maybe anyway, because um, this is quite a lot cheaper. Or when this runs out, I'll probably just go back to Burgess XL. I'm not too sure. I'll see which one they prefer. So I've got a big bag of Pets at Home Nuggets in here. Oops. Oh heck. And then here I've just got some spare dustpan and brushes. Um, but the main one I use is floating around somewhere. And then in here... Oh, is their kind of... Their brushes and their syringes in case I have to syringe feed them um, food or water or anything like that and also some antibacterial powder in case I cut the quick um, when I'm cutting their nails but that doesn't, oh, that hasn't happened so far so I, I don't know where their nail clippers are actually I think because I cut their nails the other day so they're probably somewhere else but they live in there as well and then in here I've got their strawberry house and this is just the base but I've had to take that out because um, Gizmo was pulling off these little bits and um, actually eating it which isn't very clever is it? So I had to take it away from him and he was very annoyed but um, I might try giving it back to him at a later date and see if he's forgotten about it and then in here I've just got and loads and loads. I stocked up on all the different hamster beddings um, just in case. <laughs> I tend to stock up on things a little bit more than I need to but um, it means I don't have to buy anything for a while. And down there there's some spare bowls and also some care fresh again for the hamster. So that is in this box. So just in this corner I've got their potty litter um, I prefer using Back to Nature, but at the moment they're on the Wilkinson's wood-based cat litter. Um, you've got to be a bit careful with using cat litter that it doesn't have like a scent or anything like that. But this is um, just wood, so it's perfectly fine for them. But I do find it's a little bit harder on their feet than the um, Back to Nature because it's a lot more compressed. But um, there we go. And then I've just got a tiny little um, air purifier, which um, isn't very big. I got it off eBay for £16, I think, which I was very pleased with. But I haven't really noticed a difference um, in the room, but I think it's probably helping a little bit. So then back here, I've just got their cat carrier from... Um, pets at home I think and that's just filled with their uh, Christmas decorations because I don't need it very often and I can always empty it out if I need to and then I've just got loads and loads I've got a whole bag full of toilet roll tubes because um, I saved them up for ages and ages and ages before I got the guinea pigs so I had loads and then back there there's another cat bed from pets at home I think and a couple other things but um, there's not too much back there so I'm not going to drag it all out because it's just pretty random things so I think that's pretty much it for the organisation I'll just give you an overview of the mess um, there's another kind of organisation area next to Vladimir's cage so just here is there um, I was going to use this for measuring out their pellets, but it ended up just being kind of a paintbrush, scissors, holder, uh, uh, thingy. Um, and then I've, oops, I've zoomed in. There's their little toy that I never gave to them because I thought they'd just chew it up. Um, some cactuses, which isn't really organisation. <laughs> um, and then in here, we've just got... This was... Um, Oh, Ollie's medicine, but I just kept the bottle so I knew kind of what I've fed him. Um, there's another brush there, 
like these are all chews and things which I give the hamster and there's some binder clips and things like that in there and I've also got this labeler which is a really 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 cool handy device for um, organisation oh that catches his back um, so I recommend these um, but the tape is really expensive because when I got it um, I went a little bit crazy and um, had to buy new tape for it and that was quite expensive so <laughs> yeah uh, behind the door I've just got their playpen and a Christmas tree just because there's nowhere else really to put it in my house but hopefully I'll be moving house soon as well so well I don't know when but hopefully in the future so then I'll get these guys a bigger room hopefully and um, in the meantime I'll also be putting them up on tables so I can get rid of all this stuff which doesn't have anywhere to live Oh, <laughs> oopsie so yeah here's the most of the organisation is kind of here and under the here the stuff has also kind of spilled out into my hallway so here's where I keep their spare fleeces and comfy items and also their washing baskets which is the main reason why I need to get these boys up on a table so I can fit all their fleeces and things underneath Oh. so yeah I did have a request to show all my fleecy items but um, I think this video is already pretty long so I'll try and do that in another video I hope you enjoyed this video anyway it'll probably turn out to be really really long because they do have a crazy amount of stuff I'm pretty sure the guinea pigs have got more stuff than I do. But there we go. There's their organisation. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll do a updated organisation soon when it's a bit tidier. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.